What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Steph the Lawn Surgeon and today is my first day of cutting so I thought I would do a quick review. Equipment trailer review, 2020 setup review, whatever you want to call it so stay tuned. Yes sir. Alright people, so this is my everyday cutting setup. This is what I probably will be going out with mowing every day. This right here is my 2010 Nissan Titan. I freaking love this thing. Got the fresh tires on it. Got those a couple of months ago. I actually washed this so it's looking kind of shiny. Um, V8 engines, no diesel. They do have a diesel one out and whatnot, but uh, I'm not uh, messing with that. Right here we have um, the Echo PES 225. I have two of those. Um, I love this system because the reason I have two of them, if one goes out, then, um, you know, I can just uh, substitute, you know, whatever one. The, the attachments to it and whatnot. This trailer right here, this is my contraption. <laughs> uh, this is a, a 2007 Trailmate 7x16 trailer. When I first got this trailer, this thing was way too big for uh, what I needed. And I was like, man, what have I done? Why did I buy such a big trailer? Now I'm actually thinking about getting a bigger trailer. That's that's how this business is. You you purchase something and you think it's too big and you end up going right into it. Um, I used to tow it with my 2001 Astro van. So let's go back here and look at the equipment back here. So like I said, this this is a light setup. That's why I love this trailer. There's so much space in the trailer. Um, I could carry multiple other stuff, but uh, the uh, this has the my 2016 Gravely Pro Turn. They don't make this anymore. I think they stopped making it in 2016 or 17. But uh, there you go, the Pro Turn. Love this thing. Workhorse. Just sharpen the blades on this bad boy. We're good to go. Um, back there, that's my 2016. Um, Toro T-Bar 36 inch floating deck up there that is my um, 2014 um, oh look at this I think I ordered some um, air filters and uh, oil filters online I think they're about to deliver it what a coinky dink right when I'm doing my trailer setup <laughs> all right so I got my package here I'm gonna open that for you guys um, what a treat <laughs> but if you notice on the back of my uh, Husqvarna 150 BT there's no uh, logo on it on the back of that pull cord the black area that's because I had to replace it um, put a new uh, pull cord on there and like I tell you you get in this business you can change some pull cords this is my 70 pound spreader there. I forget the brand, Groundworks or something like that. This is my Cup Cadet RT uh, 75. I'm telling you guys, bro, you get you a tiller, you can make some money. An easy money, especially a good tiller. Um, that's my um, uh, Troy Bill handheld. I forget the, the name of it or whatever. Alright, so let's open this package. So this is basically every year, every season, I get to the point where I desperately need an air filter, oil filter, and I need to make a change. And I have to go to the dealer and pay whatever the dealer charges. But this year I said I would be proactive. So I went on Amazon and they had like deals. I forget how much I paid, but um I got four pack of oil filters because coincidentally I have Kawasaki's on both mowers 
that's a benefit. Y'all got to think about that. When y'all planning to get what kind of mower you want to get, um, it is so awesome to have two mowers that use the same filters. So use the same oil filter, use the same air filters. There's two air filters in that bad boy. Yeah. Those air filters look kind of small. But anyhow. But uh, yeah, good to go. Anywho, that's my 2020 lawn care trailer setup. Uh, if you want to see this setup in action, stay tuned. I'll be posting tons of videos this summer using this setup and how awesome it is. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.